Throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. In the late 16th century, the Holy Roman Emperor Rudolf II sought the extermination of the Jewish quarter of Prague, brought on by false accusations of blood libel created by anti-Semitic Christians. What resulted was a series of violent riots, destruction of property, and cruel pogroms. Though the morale, Rabbi Judah Lowe, held cordial relations with the emperor and would do all in his power to protect the Jewish quarter, he knew deep in his heart his people needed a protector, someone, or something, to give the people of the Jewish ghetto of Prague a fighting chance. Soon, Rabbi Lowe gained his answer in a dream and knew what had to be done. The next morning, the Maral and two of his disciples made their way to the Vltava River, and using copious amounts of clay and mud from the river bank, they sculpted a massive human-like figure known as a golem. Through Kabbalistic ritual, Rabbi Lowe engraved the word emet, meaning truth, into the creature's forehead, and inserted a shem bearing the name of God into its mouth. With a learned incantation, the Maral brought the clay being to life and gave it the name Yosef. Standing more than eight feet in height and immense in bulk, the golem had incredible physical strength and did not need to eat, drink, or sleep, nor could it feel pain or exhaustion. Yosef was incapable of human speech and lived only to serve the word of its creator and would follow through with its orders to a fault. Rabbi Lo gave Yosef the golem one duty, protect the people of the Jewish quarter. The rabbi's golem held to its orders. Yosef's tremendous strength and stature alone were enough to strike fear into the heart of the anti-Semitic people of Prague. Any who had the courage to face the golem in open combat were no match for the raw power of the golem. The Jewish community of Prague felt relieved, for they finally had a guardian who would protect their people from cruelty and violence. Rabbi Lowe felt more than a twinge of pride for his beloved golem, and had Yosef regularly patrol the Jewish ghetto day and night. However, he would remove the Shem from Yosef's mouth when the Sabbath came, deactivating it so it would rest as per Jewish custom. One Friday evening, however, the Maral forgot to remove the Shem from Yosef's mouth and so the golem was very much alive and active on the day of the Sabbath. The rabbi's mistake would prove costly, as the golem went mad and wrought havoc down upon the city of Prague, pillaging and burning, no longer beholden to its original intended mission. Indiscriminately, the golem leveled buildings belonging to both Jewish and Christian citizens, uprooted trees and crushed unwary people who strayed into its path. When word of Yosef's rampage made its way to Rabbi Lowe, he had to act. Yosef was his creation, his responsibility. When the Maral approached, the golem recognized his creator and master and ceased his wanton destruction. Realizing just how dangerous the golem can be when control is lost, Rabbi Lowe decided the golem must be permanently deactivated. He removed the Shem from Yosef's mouth and removed the Emmet from his forehead. And in an instant, the golem fell to pieces. 
Legend has it, though, that after Rabbi Lowe deactivated his golem, he kept the fragments of Yosef's body and stored them in the attic of the synagogue. And it is said that there the golem remains, waiting for the day the Jewish community of Prague needs him most. <laughs>